thousands of WeHo residents flocked to inaugural drag march to protest anti-drag bills. In the state of Tennessee, activists say this is an attack on the movement for equality. West Hollywood has been a safe haven, safe haven for marginalized communities, and today the city's mayor signed a resolution standing in solidarity. We have always been a leader in so many ways, and doing this today, bringing forth a resolution that myself and Mayor Pro Tem Erickson did to denounce Tennessee's ban on drag and to stand for equal rights will reverberate to other cities, and I hope they follow suit. I think people should be aware of these drag bans, what's going on, because it's a, it's a small chip away at civil rights. Our rights are being chipped away, and soon it's going to be your rights that are chipped away. Draped in rainbow flags and with many in full drag, thousands took over Santa Monica Boulevard in West Hollywood to march in solidarity with the LGBTQ plus community facing discrimination across the United States. The inaugural drag march was a show of support for those identifying as LGBTQ plus all over the nation and as a resistance to re recent anti-LGBTQ plus legislation enacted in the United States. Joe Hollandoner, CEO of the Los Angeles LGBT Center said, quote, this year alone, more than 400 pieces of anti-LGBTQ plus legislation has been introduced and passed throughout the United States, end quote. And other organizers echoed his sentiment saying these bills, especially target transgender people across the country. Politicians and pride activists rallied the crowd before the march, drawing attention to the fight. After the march, the city of West Hollywood reiterated support for the drag community as city officials signed a resolution to help artists and performers feel safe. LA County Supervisor Lindsay Horvath denounced anti-drag laws being drafted in some states. The march and resolutions were appreciated by many in the crowd. Many took this march as an opportunity to create a better, more tolerant world for those that come after them. Um, you know, I think, again, this is, you know, bringing people together to protest. Um, you know, of course, in West Hollywood, it's symbolic because I don't see that there's a, probably going to be a big risk that they're going to be subject to these laws. So it is uh, obviously a, a great effort. Um, but I do think, you know, the, the work of our community needs to be more um, organized and connected because, again, this may be a show of support, but we need to be organized in a way where we can, you know, bring people out to do things that actually will lead to real change, whether it's organizing in states around elections, targeting um, states that are having, you know, the most drastic bills against our community, because, you know, symbolic gestures will not change the, the process that's happening right now. And I think that's the only challenge that I see. And I and I say that to everyone out there, we need to be do more than symbolic gestures. Yeah. Well, this sounds exactly like what you were talking about. Yeah. When is something going to happen? This was something that happened except it happened in a place where they're not under threat, where they are very safe. Maybe those same organizers might think about organizing something here or in Texas or in Tennessee. But yes, this is exactly what you're talking about. You're talking about these kinds of protests and it's great, but like you said, it is sort of symbolic. I, 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 want, to, I want to try again um, yeah. uh, for us. Um, uh, last night we reported on the uh, the march and protests that took place over the weekend in the Castro in San Francisco. We're reporting tonight on what uh, happened in West Hollywood. To your point, uh, we just mentioned in our conversation um, uh, from the Pride Center at Equality Florida Park down Wilton Drive, past yeah. your bar. Right. Uh, excuse me, Wilton Drive is not where, although the overall ramifications, yes. we know <laughs> the support on Wilton Drive, we know in West Hollywood and we know in the Castro. The issue is, I haven't heard a single word, basically. I, please, uh, you can't kill a messenger, but I barely have heard a word in Miami-Dade County. Miami-Dade County um, is the largest metropolitan area in the state of Florida. It is our largest city. It is arguably our most famous LGBT destination of South Beach. And this week, is Miami Beach Pride. Where's the protest? Where is it? And the only reason I challenged that question is I'm trying to understand and I'm and I'm poking for us all to understand why isn't it happening in Miami Dade County, for example? Why isn't it? Well, do you think that there's a group like an act up like group or a queer nation kind of group who would come in and disrupt 
I mean, is that possible? I've seen this in other cities. I saw it in D.C. where a group of young kids came in, queer kids, and they disrupted the regular pride parade because they were tired of all the corporate stuff and not enough action. Do you think that could happen here in, in Miami Beach Pride? No chance in there. Yeah, <laughs> I, don't, I don't see that happening. Mm -hmm. I think, I, I, I think as to what you were saying, like what's happening, I think that, you know, um, a show of support in an area that's not under threat is like saying thoughts and prayers after a shooting, mm -hmm. right? What we need to do is we need to somehow figure out how we can we can convert that show of support into votes and vote these people who are making these horrible rules against our community out of office and also support candidates that are LGBTQ candidates or pro-LGBTQ candidates. We need to put our money where our you know, our actions are, right? Like, we want to protest, fine, protest, but we also need to see some action, and the action is going to be at the voting booth, and we need to somehow convert that into... And and there is a money factor here, and I, and I you know, again, mm -hmm. challenge, you know, the, the, the March in Heels. Um, I challenge what this event, you know, did in West Hollywood. Um, you know, we have to come out and we have to raise money that has to go into helping candidates get elected. Mm -hmm. And that takes real work. Mm -hmm. um, and I, and again, this real is real effort, real effort. And, you know, I, like you said, there was 800 people at the March in Heels. Tomorrow night is the Dolphin Dems meeting. If there will be a hundred people there, I would be shocked. And, and again, every person should be coming out, mm -hmm. the Flamingo Dems in, in, mm -hmm. in Miami-Dade County, mm -hmm. where are, everyone should be coming out to these meetings. I mean, I'm telling, I'm even inviting people all week saying, we need to show up and we need to, cons and it has to be consistent. It can't be like, oh, it's a Sunday and it was fun to do a, you know, an event, but I really don't want to go knock on doors when it's time for elections, or I don't really want to go help fundraise, or I don't want to really help raise money, because that's the hard stuff. And we have to do the hard stuff. Can I, um, um, let me, let me be the devil's advocate at the table. Right. Are we just lazy? Are we reflecting? <laughs> We're just lazy. It's a lot of complacency, I think. Yeah, I think it's, I think a lot of folks, unfortunately, young folks uh, who haven't lived through a lot of the struggle, you know, from before, just figure like these are rights that are never going to be taken away. Like things are just going to stay t status quo and they're not really like paying attention and really seeing like the slow erosion of our rights little by little, you know. It hasn't affected them yet. Right. The, our, our younger, mm -hmm. our younger up and comers who, you know, I always, you have to put a little faith in them, but unfortunately they just, they haven't experienced anything yet. Mm. They haven't seen something that says, oh yeah, you can't do that anymore. And then they're going to go, oh, what? But it's no, happening what do you now. Mean? You know, but, you know, but, but the, they're not but paying the attention. the ramifications seem to me so clear. Um, my Hollywood Pride uh, is one of the favorite events in the last year that I went to. Um, if, if the version of the House Amendment bill mm -hmm. goes through, Misty Eyes will not be in the public park on Hollywood Boulevard reading to mm -hmm. children, mm -hmm. period. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is a ramification of the voting that you're talking about. Yep. Mm -hmm. And 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 who's going to be up in arms over that situation? One last thought, we're not gonna solve this problem uh, in this conversation, but it is, it's the starting point of, of at least facing this problem. In Florida, what we're watching, in Tennessee, what we're watching, mm -hmm. in Texas, what we're watching, and in all due respect, to Wilton Manors and our city commission and our mayor, we love you. We love our gay mayor of Fort Lauderdale, but West Hollywood and, and Castro in San Francisco, you are not Tennessee and you're not Texas and you're not even Florida. And the difference is in Tennessee and Texas and Florida, they have a super majority to do anything they want. They can expel two black representatives in mm -hmm. Texas because there's no consequence of them doing it. And while we are all shocked, we don't see the intersection of mm. women and Intersectionality black mm -hmm. and Latino mm -hmm. and people of color and trans and LGBT. It's not coming together for mm -hmm. us. And it's not going to in Tennessee and Texas and Florida because the horse is out of the barn already and is three hills over. They have no worries about us at all. Except can you imagine the kind of protest that took place in, in Nashville happening in, ten, in Tallahassee that the guy was reinstated? I mean, could you imagine that happening? Kind of gives me hope that it might happen, 
But I can't see it happening here. Yeah. It's not enough. LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.